Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 12 brings with it many features and changes that many of us have been looking forward to, but I want to go over the top five features. Now the first one has to do with speed, especially on older devices. iPhone 5S is the oldest supported device with iOS 12 and with that comes some great speed improvements. And the first one has to do with the camera. Apple says up to 70% faster to swipe to the camera. So from the home screen, you can get to the camera much faster than you could before with iOS 11. Also the on-screen keyboard is much faster. So if you are on older devices and the keyboard was really slow and you just wanted to type something like this, uh, the keyboard feels fast and responsive like it did back when this was new, when we were on earlier versions of iOS. And the next thing is two times faster app launches within the OS. So if you're launching something like Minecraft, the app will launch two times up to two times faster. Also, there's smoother animation all over the operating system. Now, before we move on to the next one, I wanted to talk about our sponsor. I'm proud to be working with Dollar Shave Club and I've been using them for a long time and their shave butter is my favorite product by far. It leaves my skin fresh and smooth and I don't have to worry about those cuts from shaving. Dollar Shave Club is basically giving away their daily essential starter kit to new members for only $5. In your first box, you'll receive their shave butter, body wash, and one wipe Charlie's butt wipes. You'll also receive their executive razor, which includes the premium weighty handle and full cassette of cartridges. After the first box, replacement cartridges are sent for only a few bucks a month. The $5 offer is available at dollarshaveclub.com slash Zolotech. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash Zolotech. The second thing is stability. Stability on iOS is something we've been looking forward to since iOS 10. iOS 11 brought with it some major issues, crashes all over the place, things locking up, apps freezing, resprings, that's the screen going dark and then having the little wheel in the middle. It's just something that has not been great and iOS 12 is this year's focus on stability. So stability should be something that is welcome and really the betas were very stable and this version is very stable as well. Now the next thing is screen time. Screen time lets you know just how much you're using your device. So you can find that under settings and then under settings you'll see this is my screen time and screen time tells you how many hours you've been using your phone per day. It also gives you the last seven days and then calculates it across all of your devices. And you can see it, it hasn't fully updated since this is a newer version, but you get the idea of how often it's being used. So five times per hour, this usually goes up by the end of the day, 344 notifications per hour. And this tells you, I picked it up 13 times between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. It doesn't tell you for how long specifically, but I think you get the idea. Also, if you go into the app, you can see how often you used it as well. And daily average four minutes, notifications 140, and that's just today. This will build over time across all of your devices. You can also set app limits and get activity reports. The next thing is grouped notifications. This is something we've needed from a very long time. It takes all of your notifications. Let me take a look here and groups them together. So maybe you're following stocks. It groups those together. Maybe you're looking at your email. So if you tap on this, it spreads them back out or you can show less. You can swipe them off, clear them all. And I think you get the idea. It's something we've needed for a very long time. Any notification you get from any app will just group automatically now. So you don't have this huge mess of 500 notifications that you can't possibly read. Swipe away the ones you don't like and continue to read the ones you do. Now the next thing has to do with FaceTime and originally there was group FaceTime and FaceTime is something I use all of the time and goes across to all of my devices and it's really handy when you want to just talk to someone but the great thing is the group FaceTime which isn't coming until the next version is up to 32 people at once so you can talk to 32 people at once on the screen it's really intuitive how it works it worked in the earlier versions of iOS 12 in the betas but isn't available yet it'll be available probably with iOS 12.1 later this fall. And because that's not out, the sixth thing has to do with CarPlay and third-party navigation. If you're using Google Maps, like I do often, or Waze, they can now integrate that into CarPlay. Now they have to do the work on their part and update it in the App Store, but they can push that out to CarPlay and then you can use their maps on your device on CarPlay. So if you don't wanna use Apple Maps, you don't have to anymore. That's it for the top 12 features. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And again, I'm proud to be working with Dollar Shave Club. Be sure to check them out in the description below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.